What's up, YouTube? This your man, Big Me Production 100. I have a great video for you all today. Today in this short video, I will be showing you guys how you can fix your battery life as far as um, having issues on your iPhone or your iPad. Now, in this video, I have to use my son's iPhone that I gave him because I gave him my old iPhone for us. I like to keep my old iPhones. But in this case, I let him have it to play his little, you know, apps and games on it. So if you'll see here, he's obsessed with dinosaurs. So he has like a T-Rex in the background. But anyway, this will work for any iOS device that you're currently using, including iOS 9. So if you're having any issues with your battery life, I'm going to show you some cool tips um, as far as what you can do to just, you know, fix that issue. Now, the first thing I want to show you guys um, is a way to how you can basically recalibrate your battery. Now, what you want to do is for this, you want to make sure that your device is charged up to a full 100%. And if you look here closely, you see my battery is almost dead. So I'm just trying to, you know, show you guys this quick video here before my phone dialed. But anyway, you want to make sure that your phone is at 100%. Then at that point, you want to drain it all the way down to 0%. To where is this? It's in a red zone like that. At that point, your iPhone would then shut itself down. After that, you want to plug your device back into the charger, such as a wall outlet. So we're going to come over here. And I want to show you guys. Right there, you see there's a wall outlet. So you want to take your phone and you want to charge it in. Charge it back up to 100%. All right? Now, it's a couple of steps you have to do here. The first thing is... You want to make sure the phone is at 100%. You want to drain it all the way down to zero to where the phone shuts itself off. At that point, you want to charge your backup to 100% without any interruptions. Then once you have done that, all right, we got those steps out of the way. You want to reset your device by holding down both the home button and the power buttons until the device restarts itself. So we're going to do this right now. We got the home button here. And we have the power button up top because this is an iPhone for us. So yours should be on the side. So we're going to take those two like this. And we're going to hold those buttons down like this. Now let go. Now your device should restart itself. If it doesn't, we have a more serious problem. I don't know why, but I still love this phone. I don't know. I think this was a pretty cool phone they made. It's a little scratched up. Got a couple of scratches here. And to be honest, for my first year of me owning this phone, I did not have a case on it at all. No case, but I'm pretty good with phones. Okay, now that your phone is back on, you want to just enter your password like so okay now at this point your phone should be recalibrated already so that's done as far as with the battery now we're going to move over to something else okay now at this point i want you to reset your default settings okay in order to do this i want you guys to go inside your general reset and then reset all i'm going to take a walk here so we're going to go inside settings all right kind of a glare here there we go i'm gonna go to general i'm gonna go down to reset and we're going to reset all like so enter your password once you enter your password you just want to follow through with the prompts and everything and just reset all settings okay so now that that's out of the way I wanted to do something different. You know, I don't really like sitting at my desk as much. Oh my God. And I have a stain there on my pants. Oh well. Anyway, now that we have that out of the way and we just reset the phone as far as all settings, you want to manage which apps you use as far as your location. All right, your location services. So in order to do this, I want you to go to your settings, privacy, location services. Again, that's going to be settings privacy like so location and services now at this point mine is off 
Now what you may want to do, you may just want to go through some of yours just to see which ones you have turned on. And you may just want to turn some on or, you know, have them set to never or while using this app or have you like. But in mine, I just leave mine set to off. Okay, like so. Turn off. After that point, you want to basically power your device off like this. Just the top button. Slide to power off. After that, you want to reboot your device. Now at this point, you shouldn't have any more issues with your battery. Uh, I must say I've done this on a lot of devices such as iOS, uh, iPad and iPhones and uh, it was very successful. Those people do not have any more problems with their batteries. So like I said, this works. Give it a try, which I hope you do. This is your man Brian Feaster. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, which I hope you did. I'll let you.